I don't know. I don't know. It's it's I I honestly I would say to an extent there's probably some kind of tribal bias. Well, I think when you're going back to high school yearbooks looking for outrage from 55-year-old people You've, well, you've lost the plot. You've lost isn't the that, plot. Isn't that crazy? It's fucking insane. Well, what's what's crazier is when Kathy Griffin tweets out that the three-pointer hand sign at a Covington basketball game was a Nazi hand gesture. Like the three-pointer. You know what the three-pointer oh, sign is? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm not going to do it because the photos it's will just, go flying. okay. People I, look, send me have, death threats. I put a series of them on my Instagram. When I found out That's about proof. that, I put... Bill Cosby doing it. I, someone yep. found one of me from News Radio. Is, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Aren't they using it though for that symbol? I know that it's a it's a universal symbol mm-hmm. that means a lot of things. Yes, but I aren't they right. using it yes. as that symbol? Yes, they're they're not using it to mean white power. No, they're not. Are, what are they? Sure? It's not. Okay, not what, were the, no. what were those cops using it for? That's the that's the that's the uh, the what is it called? It's called the OK game or the Don't Look game, ah. where you put the the symbol under your waist, and if someone looks at it, you get to punch them. What? There's, there's a game kids play. No, no, Where, no, no, no. These the SWAT cops that had it on their on their legs. No, they were all doing it. There was like four of them doing it in a photograph, and they were, all they, got were they, they holding it up or are they holding it on their legs? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, no, but I don't. So th- well, let's Google well, let's, it. Let's, let's, Google let's, it. Let's, let's break this down. Let's, well, I can explain this to you. Okay, right? please do. Donald Trump, when he talks, he makes the OK hand sign. Have well, he's it? he's pointing. He's right. making. I mean, okay, if he does it this way, is that okay? Oh no, what I if he does this. No, I don't care what Trump does he when he devil talks. Worshiper? I mean, if he flicks people off, that's yeah. probably a bad thing. But so what happens is he starts doing the okay, ten, the okay, okay sign. So a bunch of Trump supporters start doing it too to be like, hey, I'm like Trump, right? Right. A 4chan campaign gets started saying, convince everyone this actually means white power. Right. It was fake. The Anti-Defamation League said it was fake. Yes. A bunch of journalists said it was real. That's what I put on my Instagram. Yeah. I put all this on my Instagram, including the article where it showed the original thing came right. from 4chan. 4chan's fucking hilarious. Powerful. It's it's, it's hilarious how much shit they start. They yep. started the flat Earth movement. Okay, there's the guys. Oh, is that? I don't. I never yeah. heard that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They started so let's to look, fuck let's with look, Let's look at this photo and see Where'd if I can go? give you a. It's got a little. It, it popped up. It's a conspiracy. How do we get it back? It's that. What's going on? The connection to the TVs just died. I have no oh. idea. <laughs> no, so, it's a the Hollywood button, conspiracy. It's, the button I have is making it go there, and it's not going there. So I don't know. Jesus, Jamie, there's gremlins in this give fucking me a room. I would. Okay. I, it, Jamie it's, will figure it out. It's hard, allegedly. I would say this. We need to see that though. Ninety. I can show you my laptop. Yeah, show show me on your laptop. I would I would be willing to. Uh, okay, there's the image. Take a good good look at it, Tim. So okay, so these guys. They you all, see how it's on their leg? Yes. That's specifically a game where when you look at it, they get to punch you. What? That? They're not they're not holding the hand sign up. They're not flashing it like you see, like conservatives do, right? I'm not denying that is a game, but to say that that's what those guys are doing is a psh, bit of a stretch, I believe. Well, well what do you think they're doing? I, what is it? If to say that if if Fortune did that to to make to to mix it up, at some point people would think that that is true though, right. and they no, might no, start no, no, doing no, no, no. that. That's like if, no way. If, no way. That's happened. Though. Look, I'll say this: is it is it well th- free no, bleeding? Free bleeding came from right, Fortune, right? If you don't but, know but what right, free right. Ble- let's explain I, I that do. to people. You, it's all you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> free bleeding was, 4chan thought it would be hilarious. By the way, Shia LaBeouf was at the fucking comedy store last night. I, I wonder why. Because uh, we're always ragging on him. Um, free bleeding came from 4chan where they said that they were, they were promoting this idea that for women's rights that they would, you know, get away, from, clothes. get away from this whole idea of you have to control your menstrual cycle. You know, it's empowering to just bleed all over your crotch yep. and so women actually started doing it because it, it actually they, if you can fucking if you can get those ideas out there a certain number of knuckleheads are going to take it right, and right, run right. with it and think it's real of course so you don't think that's possible with the white power though i think it's extremely unlikely i think it's it's possible so here's the thing nothing's absolute Right? Are there some right. some white supremacists who are doing it for sure? But you don't you think you're looking at badasses with fucking guns? They're playing this little silly game. Don't yeah. You? Really? I think there are a bunch of bros who are you know you ever you ever hang off like some frat dudes at a college? They punch each other. That's th- there's a game. So how I, does it go again? You you make the okay hand sign. Okay. And you uh, hold it under are, a table or on on your leg. These are adults. These are guys that are not in college. They're definitely not a below twenty five years old. What, but what does that mean? I know, I know, forty-year-old guys who play, you know, Pokemon. I know, we'll but go this on Pokemon a, Go. This is a game. Can we that, fix this fucking thing? I, well, I don't. It's an listen, HDR listen. Okay, but what? The, what, the, the what, general, are their, what is their job? What were they? They're SWAT team guys. Is that what they? Yeah, are? they were arresting a drug dealer. And what do you what do you think they're doing? They're trying to make sure everybody knows that they're 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 flashing an overt white power hand gesture because everyone knows that's what it means. That's, Maybe like, they didn't think cool. everyone knew. Well, no, that's just not. It's just not the case. The thing. The the, the point is. 
Holding the OK sign up next to you is what's, uh, you know, people say it's the W and the P. Putting it on your leg has always been the, the punch em game or whatever. Like, I, I don't I, know that punch em game. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it, that punch em game? 100%. But right. Okay. That's How's why, it go? That's you put, it on, you put the OK symbol on your leg or under a table and you okay. say, hey, look. And if they look down and see it, they go, ah, and then you punch them in the arm. <laughs> Yeah, but I know it so well that I, that's why I don't think that's what they're doing. Like me and my friends still what they, play it. So then, so the <laughs> question is, punch, yeah, so, so, child. it's a major look. It's major look. <laughs> major look, right? Uh, yeah. So, but what are they doing? Right? Look, look, <laughs> listen, man. If you wanna, if you wanna make assumptions about what you think their intentions were, that's all you. Mm-hmm. I don't have any facts to support that. And the only thing I know of is there is a game where you put the OK sign on your leg and then you punch somebody. And here are some guys putting the OK sign on their leg. What evidence do we have? It's anything other than that. Nothing. So that, that's. I'm not gonna go any further right. than that. I'm going to say, was it poor judgment? Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but listen, do you know about what happened in Philly with these Marines who got beat up by Antifa? No, I do not. So there's some, so there was a a rally put on by some uh, constitutional libertarians. I don't know exactly what it was all about. Antifa shows up in protests. Some Marines apparently are just walking by because there was a, a Marine event. Antifa sees them and yells, are you proud? They said, he says, I'm a Marine. They said, are you a proud boy? And he said, you know, I don't know. They beat him up. These, uh, they arrested several people, charged them with multiple felonies. Marines got beat up. They didn't know what Proud Boy was. So to assume that these guys know anything about what's going on in, in cultural politics, it's, it's, you know, when you're in the know and you're on Twitter, when you're reading the news all day, you look at that and say, they knew what they were doing. What? These are small, like, what, what city are these guys from even? Do they watch the news all day? Do they go on 4chan? Do they go on Vox.com and read and know what this is about? Okay, I, I appreciate you're looking at this with a broad perspective. But it is entirely possible that they did. Sure. It's also wh- entirely possible that within their friend group, it means you're buying lunch. It could mean a million things. It could mean. Right. But in the cultural context of 2018 when this happened. Yep. That- the, o- the OK symbol doesn't even mean white power. Mm. It, is, is, it, is, it is a tribal sign among anti-ident- anti-intersectionals. And Trump supporters. But don't you remember when was there? There was a woman that got in trouble for. She was in court and she had it on her arm. She was just standing there like that's that. That's so insane. So insane because she was basically. I she mean, she had her finger in her yeah, thumb like that. Look, yeah, you, and I they mean, said, and they and they went wild with it. Yeah, she's making so a white power. Symbol. You have to understand when I see that, and I see that, you cut right. me out. But there's a difference between someone just moving their hands around and doing this, and you know, making a weird thing. She on their did. Arm. She did full on do it the next day, though. Probably on purpose. Fuck I, you. Maybe. But, or maybe but, that's but, what she does okay, when she puts her listen, arm there. Yeah, it's just you, the okay you, sign. You have to assume she's right. watching the news then. Yes. I, w- I would. She's sitting at the Kavanaugh hearing, but it's entirely possible, though, albeit unlikely, that she was just telling somebody okay. Like, Or listen, that she was, she's used to doing that with her arm and she doesn't even think about it. There's, you're allowed to make assumptions, right? Yes. And operate off assumptions. But eventually you start getting off so crazy and, you know, how many assumptions are you going to believe right. until you're believing the moon landing was fake? Let me ask you this, though. Don't you think that some people do that and they do it because they're making the symbol for white power? Some as in what, 10, 15, 20? I don't know. I, I, mean, I think I don't know about a number. Like, like I said, listen, nothing's absolute. I'd be I'm pretty sure there are probably some white supremacists who do that. Yeah. But here's the thing. Most of these people who are on 4chan, who would even use the emoji, who would do it in public, they're not doing it to signal white power. They're doing it to signal opposition to the tribal left. When they take photos and you see someone like Cassandra Fairbanks, who is a Trump supporting you know, writer, she has, she, she's, she's notable because she stood at the podium, made the OK hand sign. And then this writer from Splinter News, which uh, used to be called Fusion, I worked there, full disclosure, claimed it was a white power hand gesture. And she, she got uh, uh, Cassandra sued over it. She ultimately lo- lost because it's like, you know, free slander is hard to sue for. But she did it because it was a Trump sign, not because it's white power. So the people who, who are even white supremacists aren't signifying white power. They're signaling to other Trump supporters, too. Right. It doesn't mean white power. Right. So just because someone on the left says it means white power, that does not mean it means white power within their group. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it just, so like we all just decide that this means something else. Like my friend means Steve, uh, peace among peace among nations, peace, my, peace among worlds. My friend Steve Rinella, uh would talked about this in the podcast that he got beat up once by his friend, where uh, he grew up in Michigan, and in Michigan, as almost like for fun, like like if I said, "Hey fucker," like if I called you "Hey fucker," like as friends, yeah. you, you would laugh and like, "What's up, dude?" You know, it'd be cool. So 
he would right. give the bird, and they would yep. call it the Michigan hello. Yep. And so the Michigan wave or something like that. So as he was driving by, he saw his friend. He went like that. Like if I saw you do that, I'd be like, ah, what's up, Tim? There was a. But you know, but his friend didn't know this. So his friend, he grabbed him through the through the ground. He goes, "You want to fight, motherfucker?" He's right. like, "What are you talking about? Like, what's going on?" He's like, "You gave me the bird." He's like, "Oh Jesus, bro, I'm from <laughs> Michigan. Yeah, like that's we're having fun. Like right. that's just I'm your friend." And, yeah. he, and he was over the guy's house helping him build a greenhouse or something. Like he was doing some work with the guy. And I the guy think, still threw him to the ground because he thought that this was. Oh, you got it fixed. No, there's naturally there's going to be a ton of people you know saying oh Tim's bootlicker and all that stuff. Oh, you're white like, supremacist. Dude, listen, your... man. Like I'm not. I, I I do not. I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories. I'm not a big fan of making assumptions about the intentions of other people. If you can prove it, I'm willing to hear it. But people in this country are innocent until proven guilty. What do we have? We have a photo of some cops doing something dumb. Right. Do I think it was ill-advised? It was wrong? They shouldn't have done it? Oh, of course. Absolutely shouldn't have done it. Do I think it means they're white supremacists? No. That's they're a, cops. Yeah. I'm not gonna, look, I've, I, I am no fan of police. I, you know, I, I, I grew up as like a, a left, far left anarchist skateboarder. The cops screw with me all the time. I've had cops kick my door and guns drawn. I was in Chicago and cops pulled me over, me and my buddies. This is all on video at gunpoint screaming at us. It was the craziest experience I've ever had. I am no fan. But if you don't have evidence, I'm not just going to. So this is a thing about how, how these biases function. You get people who will see all these videos, they'll have these experiences, and they'll immediately assume the worst about these guys. I don't know anything about these guys. I know they did something dumb, but I don't know why. So I can't really go beyond that. Other than I, th I believe their official statement was they were playing the game. But I could be wrong. But to, to make assumptions about their character or what they believe simply because they made an okay sign on their leg, it's like you can't convict somebody in a court. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm a big fan of the presumption of innocence and Blackstone's formulation and how we side on the, uh, we, we err on the side of protecting the innocent. I think you got a good point in also in the fact that this is a extremely recent hand gesture that's being associated with white supremacy and clearly came from pranksters. And you have to assume these guys are on 4chan or, or read these, these websites. Right. Like, come on, man, these dudes, they probably go to work all day. They talk about football. They go home, they sit in their lounge chair and have a, you know, have a beer and a slice of pizza or whatever it is they, they do. I don't think these guys, people, man, you know, people don't know how to separate their own personal bubble from mm -hmm. reality. They That's assume if I know it, you must know it, right? It's actually something uh, Shane Smith told me. He said he doesn't understand why is it that if he can do it, you can't, right? And that's it's like an interesting point that people don't seem to realize. What do you mean by that? Like he's, he said to me, I can speak French. Why can't you? Like people live in this mindset right. where they assume if I know it, everyone knows it. Right. Okay. So, so they're going to be like, no, every, I, I saw an article about that. Everyone must know what it is. It's like, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 dude. There are some people who don't watch TV. There are some people right. who play video games all day. There are yeah. some people who don't do any of that. For all you know, these guys, they, every day after work, they go to a children's shelter and, and, and provide soup and they don't watch the news at all. Like, I'm not, I don't believe that they actually do. I'm just saying, you have no idea what's going on in their lives. You're making right. assumptions about what they know, who they are. And I think, you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer that we have problems with racism in this country. I believe uh, institutional and systemic racism, real, real problems need to be solved, all that stuff. That still doesn't mean you get to just label someone and make assumptions about what they believe, who they are, because of one thing. You know, if, 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 you, made a, uh, if you made a joke, what if, what if they did it because they were ironically doing it? Right. If you made a joke 10 years ago, am I going to assume you actually believed it? Maybe you said something silly. You know, we had this newscaster in New York who, who accidentally said Martin, Martin Luther, Luther Kuhn. Yeah. You know, uh, and, 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 and it I'll happened again, you know. Another there was guy another did one yep. recently. And you also, uh, and, and another thing happened that no one cared about was uh, a guy on CNN said a racial slur for Jewish people in the same way. No one cared about that one, you know. So there was a CNN anchor. What did he say? I, I don't want to say it. Okay. But he was, he was, he was, he was the K word. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can still say it as long as you're not calling and he, anybody. And he, it was the same thing. He quickly fit, corrected himself. Right. And that didn't come up as an issue. But right. the point is this dude, you know, why, why is he being fired? Right. right. Even pe people came to his defense. Are you going to assume nasty things about him? Like, are we really getting to the point where we're going to look at a photo? We don't know the context. We don't know who these people are. We don't even know their names. And we're going to be like, burn him at the stake. Well,